video games are important, but education is importanter. Now that's a saying that gets flung around my household a lot as I have two kids in school, and as most parents will know, trying to get kids to see the value in education is a daily struggle. Let School by Pathia Games is a video game about the importance of education, bringing school management into the palms of your hands. What's it like? Sit up straight, pay attention, and can I borrow a pencil? As we review Let's School for Nintendo Switch. Before class starts, would you mind liking and subscribing? It's the best way to improve What's It Like's marks on YouTube, and I can't thank you enough for doing so. Let's School makes you the principal of a rundown school, and it's up to you to turn it around. You won't be alone as you have a teacher there to help you try and build up the education standards of the local area and train young minds in succeeding in passing standardised tests. The game has a very similar premise to that of Two Point Campus and Hospital and it actually shares a lot of similar core mechanics. You will build, hire staff, research new tech and manage the school from behind a cursor, pointing and clicking on whatever needs your attention. There's a surprisingly deep level of customization and management to delve into, provided you can stay in school. But that lesson will come after recess, or little lunch as we call it here in Australia. It has some unique mechanics like starting off the semester with a speech at assembly to inspire your students and to provide buffs. But unfortunately, the UI isn't adjusted, so half the text is missing or it just simply trails off screen, leaving you to guess what you should press. The core of the gameplay loop consists of structuring classes by managing teachers and lesson schedules to help students succeed while researching and building new upgrades for your campus to enrol even more students and therefore earn more profits to expand. There's a lot of clever additions like seasonal festivals with mini objectives and natural disasters or events to mix up gameplay instead of just being able to put time in fast forward and churn and burn through the semester. At the end of each semester, your students will sit their exams and how many pass and fail sets your ranking in the school community. The art and animation style of Let's School looks almost like a PS1 game and intentionally has janky animation as a part of its charm. The game runs at a consistent frame rate as well, but the overall product has a very obvious lack of polish on the Switch, despite already having a couple of post-release patches. It's still a mess. Localization is awful with some buffs saying 9 person disappointed, with no spacing and a few other slip ups of similar nature. Cutscenes stutter about, sometimes characters don't even bother to appear, and there's usually a 2-3 to three second pause when opening a menu, which may not sound like a bad issue until you realise you spend a lot of time opening up menus. Something that brings up its own challenges and frustrations. Because this is where Let's School didn't really pay attention in class, as the controls were so unintuitive and frustrating, I had to put my switch down and walk away for a while. And I'm not an easily frustrated person, but the first few hours of wrestling with the control system made me want to pull my hair out. The menu wheel, for example, which is your main form of navigation, simply selects things at random should you move your control stick a little too fast. Simple things like editing an existing building require you to try and figure out how to navigate to the next window because moving in the direction with a D-pad or analog stick just does nothing. And trying to auto-schedule classes didn't even work for me. Most of these problems could be fixed if the game had touchscreen support to mimic a keyboard and mouse combo, but alas, there are no touchscreen controls. All of these frustrations are such a shame because at its core, Let's School actually has a very solid foundation of management and gameplay, and the more I persevered, the more I found myself enjoying the game, despite battling both the controls and the menu. The depth of the management is good enough to keep the player engaged, but the fundamental problems will do everything in their power to push you away. 
This might be a case of good game, bad format, because despite all these issues, I still enjoyed it. I would say that a patient gamer would get more enjoyment out of this, but I would probably recommend getting it on PC if you can. For my vision impaired principles, there are no accessibility options, so I recommend further study to find out if Let's School is for you. For $30 Australian, Let's School is okay value for money. There's a lot of depth in managing and building a school to discover, but the hostile controls and general lack of polish will most likely have students looking to enrol elsewhere before they do. Despite its PS1 era graphics that try on the charm, there's a distinct lack of polish that takes center stage and odd localization issues and bugs. Those who do manage to stick it out will find a lot of management options, depth, and hopefully, the secret to inspiring some students. So, what's it like? Let's School is like Two Point Campus, but on a primary school level. I award it a 58 out of 100. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. The best way you can support me is to like and subscribe and continue watching my content if you enjoy it. But if you do want to go that bit extra, you can buy me a coffee or join our Patreon, which shows you behind the scenes of this channel. Thanks again.